Hey y'all, welcome back to Crazy Gamer Models. This is going to be an update video because there is going to be a giveaway. I am at currently at 68 subscribers, and when I get to 75 subscribers, I will be giving away some um, Warhammer stuff. So if you could leave in the comments below your top five Warhammer factions that you would be interested in a prize from, and I'll draw from the group who leave comments, who, some, some Warhammer stuff. So leave your top five Warhammer stuff into the comments, and then at, I'll give it seven days, and then I'll draw a winner from the group, and then I'll build something from that five, and then I will send it to, to the winner. So it will not be painted. It will be built and primed. I will, I don't I don't paint I'm not a good painter you wouldn't want it painted from me to be honest with you but I will prime I will build it very nicely put it on a nice base if I have one that size and I will prime it and then it'll be ready for you to paint when you get it so that is the beginning of this so seven more subscribers and then seven days from when I get my seventh subscriber 75th subscriber I will do a giveaway for some Warhammer stuff and that will be coming up, so in the comments, leave your top five Warhammer factions that you would like to receive something from, and then I will draw a winner from there. So for the update portion, I am working on the Yag Tiger filling all the ejector pin marks. There are loads of ejector pin marks. 38 in the hall alone. I don't know if they'll all be seen, but I don't want to take the chance. So here, here's what I cut in. The cheapest electric screwdriver I could find at Walmart. I ripped all the bristles out of the head because it's interchangeable. And I double stick taped some Tamiya sanding foam to it. This is, um, I think this one's 600 because I just wanted a medium grit to test it. But I have another head and I can get different replacement heads and just put different grits on. But it, it sands beautifully. It, um, it sands out, you know, injector pin marks, um, Mr. Surfacer when you have a sink mark. So this is, yeah, I think this was maybe $7 at Walmart, and it came with batteries and replacement heads. And then replacement heads, you get like 5 for like 8 or $9. So you have one of each grid. You don't have to put the foam on there. You could put Velcro and just regular paper, but that... That's going to save me. That's fantastic. I just wish you could put the heads on backwards because when you're sanded, it does get in the way a little bit or it was angled, but, you know, it's cheap and it, and it works. So, um, also, my son has been building the M1A2 Abrams. You know, kid crazy. He's doing his build. He's got, he's got his wheels and um, drive sprockets, and he's got his lower hull. As you can see, he's cleaned up his parts really well. He's doing a great job. So he's got the back end on. He's currently working on the turret, I believe, the upper turret or the upper hull. I'm not sure. He's in the instructions there. He's getting along pretty good. We just got the tracks glued up with some um, Mr. Hobby Cement Deluxe. Hopefully that holds. It does say the styrene glue works. Um, he hasn't really had any issues. He did forget a poly cap in one of the wheels, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. So, you know, stay tuned for more updates on that. Uh, the Panther is coming along. Um, I was messing around with the photo etch. And this is one of the driver's dials. Uh, one of the photo etch pieces. With the, and it has some... Um, Micro scale industry industries crystal clear daubed on the top of that. So that's that's basically what I've gotten so far. I have my tree guarded of Mr. Servicer primed wheels, and then I primed the torsion bars, and then I did one coat of MIGS interior colors for German, the Rotobron. I just did the one coat because after I install it, I'm going to have to touch up stuff, and I'll do the second coat on what's seen. 
because I'm not sure what's going to be the underside and what's going to be the top until I install it, because some are up and some are down. So I'll just do the second top on the, on the part you can see. Um, the, the road wheels, I'm doing the, I'm doing, these are the rubber road wheels. So I'm going to mask, I'm going to paint them rubber black, and then I'm going to use a mask to paint the inside or reverse that, paint the whole thing, the dark yellow, and then mask that and do the outside. Leave a comment what you think I should do on that, because I'm not real good with masking. I was just going to use a circle stencil and tape it to it. But that's all the, that's the road wheels. A lot of them. So that's done. I also have just today, while I'm waiting for stuff to dry, I have primed with Mr. Surfacer 1500 Black, the transmission black. So that needs a coat of the, the German gray base. That's what this is going to get painted. Now, I'm doing this restored version of the Panther. But I just want to point out, on the interior colors for German tanks, it has the drivetrain, um, this bright green, this MiG-08, 080. Um, for the gearbox. It has it this green. I don't know if that's correct or not. And in a minute I'll show you why I say that. Um, then I you know, hit all this with Mr. Surfacer ready to be painted the Roto Braun. So that's that. And then some of this gets painted Roto Braun like the brackets and the mounting spots. And then I painted the back bracket for that. That's in the little storage painted the pedals that go on there so that's that and now let me show you my reference here this is um the reference that i'm using for the restored panther the, they're restoring this is the panther i'm basing it on if you look at where is it at here's the torsion bars that are supposed to have the hull color on the end there I wanted to show that and then the nuts are still black and i'll dry brush them with some steel color if you look at the drive trade in here there's the drive trade page 45 it's painted the gray base it's not painted the the bright green so i'm not sure what i should do if it's going to get painted again later but this looks finished painted I can't find any information on whether it should be that green color. If you guys know or know of a reference or anything, let me know in the comments below on that. Um, I'm starting on the Maybach engine for the Panther while I'm waiting in between projects. And yet the the 132nd Special Hobby Tempest Mark II is still issues. Four times on a video and I'm still having issues. Um, I have another video of a review that's pretty interesting to go along with that uh, BF-109 that I posted, also posted today. So that's going to be it for this update. Um, stay subscribed, 75 subscribers, doing the Warhammer giveaway. List your top five factions in the comments. After seven days, after 75 subscribers, I will pick a comment commenter and i will build something from that faction and send it to you guys so that's it for this video for crazy gamers games crazy gamers models i am the crazy gamer you guys have a fantastic day